Facebook recently, there was the news about the Russia involved yeah. in the election. Um, and you wrote some pretty strongly worded stuff uh, yep. about their responsibility there. Can you talk about that? I think Facebook has openly embraced the 90 plus point gross margins of a media company. They've embraced the celebrity of a media company. They've embraced um, the influence of a media company, yet they seem to be allergic to the responsibilities of a media company. First, they started saying, we're not a media company, we're a platform. That's like McDonald's serving 80% fake beef and then when coming under criticism saying we're not a fast food restaurant, we're a fast food platform. I don't think we would, we would tolerate that, nor should we tolerate that excuse from Facebook. You, you create content, you run advertising against it, boom, you're a media company. I worry the average age of the Cleveland Cavaliers players is 29, average age of the San Jose Sharks players is 29, average age of Facebook employees is 28. I worry that the management there doesn't have the historical context for the importance the fourth estate plays in our society. I'm pretty certain that Business Insider wasn't weaponized by an intelligence group of the Russian government, and nor are you going to, because you employed this very expensive thing called human discretion. And the excuse right now among, from both now Google and Facebook is that it would be impossible for us to screen our content or advertisers which is total BS. We're not talking about the realm of the possible, we're talking about the realm of the profitable, in that this would definitely hit their cash flows, definitely hit their stock market capitalization, but if the New York Times can protect us from the GRU with $90 million in free cash flow, Facebook can figure it out with $12 billion in cash flow. It's more people or more technology? The answer is yes. You know, they, they've been doing these half measures, they announced 250 people, got a lot of grief for that, announced 1,000, Facebook could hire 10,000 people, spend a quarter of a million dollars a year in artificial intelligence to help those 10,000 people identify, sort, and stop controversial content, and it would maybe ding 5%, 10% of their cash flow. This is, again, going back to the hamburger analogy. You have one McDonald's serving a million burgers a day, one serving 1,000, and the McDonald's serving a million burgers a day would say, we can't check the beef quality because we're so profitable and we're selling so many burgers. You have, you have the weaponization and subterfuge of our democracy, and you have the profitability of big tech. I know which side I'm on.